Hello friends, Joey V. Truth Wagner with you. Welcome into the Truth Serum once again. This is episode 18. And friends, I'm going to be standing up for someone who is definitely worthy of it. And that's what I'll be talking about tonight. Folks, over the last couple of weeks, I have not been around. And... And when I finally returned home, I was informed that Mark Madden of um, 105.9 WXDX, a man who has his own sports talk show, made some very disheartening comments about Pittsburgh Pirates legend, all-time great, Roberto Clemente. But folks, before I get into that, here is Roberto Clemente's story. Here's his life, if you don't know about it. He was born in 1934. He was from a very poor family in um, Puerto Rico. He battled and clawed and made his way up into Major League Baseball, into the big leagues in the mid-1950s when there was still segregation going on in schools in this country. And this was pre-civil rights era, so people were not too pleasant to minorities at all. He battled through all of that, came to a new country, didn't know the language very well, barriers everywhere to try to do that and battled and clawed his way to become one of the best players in the history of Major League Baseball. One of the best, if not the best, defensive right fielder you'll ever see. And that's what he's known for, but he was also an all-time great hitter too. Here are some of his career stats. Lifetime average. He was a 317 hitter. 3,000 career hits. This was in... This was in the 60s when pitchers were dominating. In 1968, the year of the pitcher, when Bob Gibson had a 112 ERA, Clemente still hit 291, and pitchers were dominating the sport. Also, 15-time All-Star. He, he was the... He was the National League MVP in 1966. Also won a World Series MVP in 1971. Was a 12-time Gold Glove Award winner for his fantastic defense. And I learned this during my prep. He's also a four-time batting champion. And in 1956, he hit the only walk-off inside the park, grand slam in the history of Major League Baseball. So not only is he an all-time great defensive player, he was also an, an all-time great offensive player too. And to boot, as good as he was as a baseball player, he was an even better person. He would contribute a lot off of the field to charities and he even gave his life for it. As Roberto Clemente, when he was 38 years old, on December 31st, 1972, he lost his life as he was on a plane that was delivering food and, and supplies to Latin, a, to Latin America in um, Managua, Nicaragua, to help them overcome an earthquake that they suffered. He gave his life to help those people. So his story is pretty in, in, incredible. And because of the great career he had and even better actions off of the baseball diamond, he was elected into the Hall of Fame immediately in 1973. Major League Baseball, they waived the five-year wait period. He was elected in first ballot, 92.7%. That's Roberto Clemente. Vote.
That's his story. And now on to Mark Madden. Mark Madden has been a member of the Pittsburgh sports media for years. He was with ESPN. He's now on WXDX for a short period of time. He had his, his radio show simulcast on 22 The Point locally here in Pittsburgh. And he proclaims that he's a super genius and has an IQ of 166. But he made some very rude comments about Roberto Clemente that that does not show the IQ of 166. His comments were about Roberto Clemente and Major League Baseball possibly retiring his number 21 jersey across all 30 teams. And it's okay to not to not to want his number to be retired. That's fine. I get that. But don't make hurtful, disgraceful, just flat out rude comments about the guy to support your argument. So folks, Have some here class. it is Mark Madden. Well, first of all, Mr. Madden, having your number retired all across Major League Baseball, there's not a checklist that says has to break the color barrier. It's about being great on the field and being great off the field. Jackie Robinson was that. He was great on the field and he was off the field. Clemente was too. Both men eventually were both Hall of Famers, but the effects of their off the field work is what made them most memorable. Clemente gave his life, Mr. Madden. He gave his life. He died for other people. I feel he's worthy of having his number retired. And also, here it is, some more. Clemente is one of the top 10 baseball players ever, probably not even top 25. Once again, not true. Well, first of all, folks, in my opinion, I feel that Roberto Clemente is a top 25 all-time great player because he was a complete player. Offense, defense, base running, he did it all, and he was great at everything. But also, I have some proof to back this up. There is this very relevant baseball website called Baseball Almanac. They listed their 100 greatest players in Major League Baseball of all time. Do you know where Clemente ended up? Number 20. Number 20. So he is, Mark, a top 25 great. Power of legends. Certainly Clemente has started a generation of Latino players, but not the current generation. Yes, Clemente died doing humanitarian work, but he's not the only athlete to ever do humanitarian work. He died, Mark Madden. Clemente gave his life for it. That's what makes the difference. That's a very hurtful comment. That's a very sickening comment. 
It sickens me. The first time I heard this, I was taken back emotionally. I was perturbed by it. He gave everything for others. All you can give is your life. And that's what he did. He gave absolutely everything that he could. You can't give any more than your life. You can't. It's an absolute disgrace that he would try to downplay all of the humanitarian work that he did when he gave everything to do it. That's why I made this video, folks. I made this video so that I could stand up for a man who couldn't defend himself against this guy. Against this guy, Mark Madden. Let's not forget, folks, that uh, Mark Madden is the same guy who back in 2008 said these comments about Ted Kennedy. Did you see that? And how sickening, awful, degrading those words were? That was awful. That was horrible. And that's all I can... Those are the only words that can come to my mind right now to describe those words. Absolutely horrible. A horrible thing to say. And thank goodness ESPN had enough brains and enough understanding of the situation to immediately fire him and not let him back on their airwaves. For someone to say that with an IQ of 166, something has to give. Those aren't the words that a man with that high of an IQ would say on the national airwaves. He worked for ESPN, national, national. And, and folks, I would that. really like to investigate what his true IQ is, because with these two segments here, he's showed, he has shown to you, he has shown to the world, that it's clearly not 166. Well, folks, I'm, I'm just about done on this rant. And I'm just blessed that the Lord gave me the opportunity to stand up for someone who couldn't stand up for themselves. He went after and attacked Roberto Clemente. And back in 2008, Ted Kennedy, he attacked people that couldn't defend themselves. And that's just a bully. That's just well, a folks, this bully. is episode 18 of the Truth Serum. It is what comes out of your mouth that is evil and hurtful, not what goes in it. For the rest of the crew, Joey, the Truth Wagner signing off. Good night.